All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of Impact, which is being made by forum user Tom F. And you may notice on the little icon here, it's got the beaker as we are in a uh, science save game today. Normally we're just in sandbox, but this is a science-based mod, so of course, we have to actually collect science, so into the save file we go, where we will take a look at Impact, which adds into the game a really fun new scientific experiment. Two experiments, actually, but the two combined allows you to collect science from crashes. And, well, it's Kerbal Space Program, you're already gonna crash, so you might as well, you know, gain some science and potentially also profit from it. It is entirely worked into the career mode, so you will get uh, contracts for these experiments, which is pretty cool. And, of course, they are uh, worked into the research center here. But first, let's go to the VAB and take a look at the parts that this adds in, and then we'll go a bit more in-depth into the crash experiment and how it all works. So let's grab a uh, command pod here, and then, of course, the science tab, where we have two new parts added into the game. We have the bangometer, and the flashometer. And these two have their own individual experiment that is conducted automatically. You don't really have to do anything. You just have to have it in the relative vicinity. And they will automatically do an experiment when you crash something into a celestial body that has no atmosphere. So like the moon, Minmus, Oh god, I'm trying to remember the other planets and moons that don't have atmosphere in the game. But yeah, you know which one. If it doesn't have atmosphere, this will work. If it does have atmosphere, uh, it won't. Now, that may change in the future, but I kind of doubt it because, well, in the real world... Uh, well, this one would still work for an atmosphere, but this one, uh, not so much. So let's take a look at the parts here. Now the bangometer... If we just actually let's pop it on the top here and zoom right on in a pretty basic model which eh, could definitely use some work but for version one of this mod it is perfectly acceptable and it is essentially a si real world seismometer so it will register the seismic waves created from the explosion from whatever crash you create and it will do the science and uh, the amount of science that you gain is actually proportional to the kinetic energy of the crash. So the bigger and faster the whole crash experiment is, the better for you and your science. And that, well, that's just wonderful. And the other part is the flashometer. Again, equally as weird of a model, not... Not exactly the prettiest looking thing on the block, but again, perfectly suitable and usable for a version 1. And the spectrometer, unlike the bangometer, or well, the flashometer, I guess, rather. Oh god, these, real, the, these names are confusing me because in real life, I've worked with both of these types of instruments with the career that I do. Uh, so the flashometer is analogous to a real-world spectrometer. And what this does is it basically records the spectrum of radiation emitted by the debris from the explosion. And so this one, it doesn't matter how big the explosion is or the kinetic energy or anything like that. It is purely biome based, whereas this one is, oh, I think it is also biome based, but the kinetic energy is the important thing. So the bigger the boom, the better the data you will get. And uh, yes, yeah, so, so in the real world, this is actually quite fun and why I really love this mod because I have worked with seismometers in the past, uh, you know, helping to find the water table, you know, under an area that you do the seismic test on. It's quite cool and quite fun. And in space, you know, we have done these sorts of tests to try and get a better idea of the internal makeup of a planetary body. And it's, 
it's fun to have that in game. Now, technically, we already have, oh, I haven't researched it yet on here, but we do have like a little seismic meter in game already. That's, eh. But this one actually has the more proper experiment. You know, you make a big boom, you record the data, it's good times. Now, the flashometer, as I said, is analogous to a spectrometer, which, Again, uh, to just reiterate, it's it basically analyzes the spectrum of radiation emitted by all the debris that's kicked up by the impact. And in the real world, I've uh, the only type of spectrometer I've used is an X-ray diffractor, which works on sim uh, similar principles, but uh, for different sorts of information. And uh, yeah, really fun instrument, really cool to use, and I love having both of these in the game here because, well, it allows me to do experiments that I've done in real life in this game. And that's just fun. Granted, <laughs> I've never done it in relation to space, but uh, yeah, so that makes it even cooler for me. Oh, but yes, yeah, so that is the two experiments here. So we have the bangometer to get the correct word for the mod right. Big boom, more science. Flashometer sees the boom, and whatever biome the boom was in, it will record that information. Now, oh, uh, one other thing, it has to be in a very low orbit, and of course, within the general vicinity, it has to see the explosion. Now, if we exit, and we are going to go over to the research facility, if it load, there we go, it did load, and I cheated in a crap load of science for, you know, the purposes of demonstration, and unlocked what we needed to, and the bangometer is right here on space exploration, we have that right there, and the flashometer is here under advanced exploration, and what's really cool is you could do either of these experiments on their own, or do them both together, because again, as long as the crash happens and these are in the vicinity, it will automatically register the experiment. So these are the techs you need. The uh, space exploration and advanced space exploration, or just advanced exploration rather. And you will be able to do fun experiments like the one that I have set up around the moonar uh, surface here. What the heck is this? Oh, I'm tracking an asteroid apparently. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go to my Mooner Science ones that I have over here. Why is it... Oh, yeah, it's because we're still in the same vicinity. Now, around the moon, I have already popped onto the surface a lander, which is our Mooner Science lander. And we have this Mooner Science probe up in orbit. And if we go to the probe... We can go and make a big boom, which should, hopefully, if I've set up everything right... All right, there is our lander. It's below us right now, so let's use the SAS to get us nicely lined up with the surface here. Then decouple that. Get a little bit away. Actually, let's get back to this real quick. Make sure that it stays looking down. We have the flashometer right here. And then go to this baby where we are just gonna go straight down and burn all the way until we hit the surface. So there we go, I use the small little uh, engines to just get ourselves nicely away from the probe to make sure we don't damage it with our exhaust fumes from this. And yeah, now we are just burning all the way to the planetary surface, well, the lunar surface, rather. And our... there's the probe. So we are... oh boy, oh, we're getting close. 36, 35 kilometers away from our probe. Alright, let's zoom out. Beautiful view. And boom, there we go. And as you can see here, we recorded a spectrographic impact. Oh, it went away. And also a seismograph impact. And if we go to those, so if we go to the Mooner probe, oh God, we're gonna have to go to the Space Center. Or I should have just clicked the tracking station button. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But, okay, so to the tracking station. Then to the Mooner probe, we'll go to the one landed on the surface first. And... Okay, it registered the science, and here we go, we can now review the data. Seismic data revealed a smaller than expected metal core. Very nice, and we got the impact of 3.62 
kilojoules, I'm assuming is what that is, on the moon. And my god, we got 240 science from that, which we can, of course, then transmit or get back to the planet, uh, which is actually really cool. I didn't realize it'd be that much science. I, I, I set up this experiment, but hadn't actually tested it yet. So I'm glad that all worked out very well. But yeah, look at that, 240 science for a single SRB impacting into the moon. That is very, very cool. Now, if we go to the map, keep data, and go to our probe, there we are. We should be able to right-click it as well and review the data. Pulverized regolith exploded outwards. It was gray. <laughs> I love that, and it, the impact, so remember that it is biome-based, so impact at Midlands on the moon, and this one not quite as much science, only 75 science. Huh, interesting. I'm curious though, with the, uh, the bangometer, we got 240 science from a single SRB with one of those small little control pods or robotic probes, and that was 240. Imagine a much bigger bigger, like one of the large SRBs, or hell, crash a huge ship into the moon. Imagine all the science you would get from that. It would be glorious, and I would love it so, so very much. This one, biome-based, so, you know, you just have to redo this experiment on every biome on the moon, or Minmus, or again, any other celestial body with no atmosphere, and you should be good to go, and again, you just transmit it back, or send it back to the planet in some other way, and you have glorious, glorious science, and yeah, so that is... That is the impact mod, which oh, is just wonderful. If you would like to go and try it for yourself, you can go and uh, find the download link in the description as always. It'll take you to the mod post on the forums and it'll explain much more in detail about everything, how to set up the experiments properly. And also things about like the career modes. As I said, you have contracts, so you'll have contracts actually to get that they'll specify a minimum kinetic energy for you to actually complete the contract or for the flashometers to specify a minimum latitude of where the impact is to occur. So very, very cool. I love the integration with that. Of course, as you saw, integrated in with the science career tree or science tech tree rather. And it's just fun to crash things for science who doesn't want that so yes go and try out the mod for yourself it is a load of fun and i hope you have enjoyed this episode today and of course that you come and check out our next episode when we'll be looking at what is hopefully another fun mod but until then thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one